Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on Boys Outdoors. And uh, in this video, guys, I just wanted to give you a quick update on the uh, Millie DeFleur and the uh, baby Rhode Island White Chick. So uh, as you guys saw in my last video about me moving her to the uh, barn. So uh, here, as you can see, I have the Millie DeFleur Chick, or the baby Rhode Island White Chick in the coop there. She's, uh, so I put, I put some nesting material on top for the Rhode Island White to lay there. And uh, she's currently right there. There's a rooster. They're getting along pretty well right now. Nothing's too bad. But as you can see, the chick's getting pretty big. And uh, and right here, you can see the Millie DeFleur rooster. That's the dominant rooster. So I just have them in there for right now. So I can uh, separate the two Millie DeFleur roosters and uh, add or just let the Barbuda water males mate with all the other uh, chicks. Because, as you guys know, the Barbuda water males are the most expensive chickens we have. So, uh, yeah. So, I'm just going to show you guys me uh, just kind of fixing up the rooster coop here. And uh, putting them inside, I guess. And, uh, yeah. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on, uh, on uh, what's been going on. And uh, I haven't really been having too much time to do uh, a video. Uh, I have posted some shorts. But that was about it. Uh, it is going to be... A very depressing day tomorrow because it's supposed to be super stormy and then uh, Sunday we're supposed to have snow so uh, I'll catch you guys if we have any I'll catch you guys if we have any snow and uh, that'll be fun and I'll show you guys what to do when you have chickens in the snow and uh, yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and uh, yeah catch you guys when uh, I start fixing up the coops all right guys so uh, here I have a little piece of wood that I have to cut to uh, make sure that the uh, chickens don't uh, don't get hurt in the metal wire so i'm just gonna cut this and uh yeah so that's basically it uh i guess i'll um probably make a time lapse about it um so yeah hope you guys enjoy it all right guys so uh here's a piece of wood let's go see if uh it fits so uh take you guys inside the coop of all coops the Royal Island Whites all right there's the rooster and his hens let's uh let's see if this fits all right so gotta lift this up it's like that all right now I'm gonna see if it fits here uh actually not quite I don't think it does yeah, no, wrong measurement, wrong measurements, so, whatever, I'm just gonna have to, uh, go, um, do, uh, cut off just a little bit more, so, uh, I'll see you guys when I do that time lapse. Alright guys, so, uh, here's this piece of wood, this one should fit, hopefully, and, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this will fit. Do this lock right here. There you go. All right. Lift it up. All right, let's see here. Right there. Yeah. All right, perfect. Perfect. Just below there. All right, so... <laughs> So the most ideal fit would be to uh, have it to where I only would have to like hammer it in and put a good screw in there. But instead, here we're going to do that, just like that. So it doesn't hurt the chick at all. All right. So uh, I'll see you guys when I ha get the screwdriver and uh, put it in there. All right, guys, sorry for how the way the camera is. It's just kind of like the only angle I could get. Maybe I can fix it. Maybe like that. Hopefully that's better. I don't know. All right, well, now just going to put this in here. Just going to uh, put it. Make sure it's lined up. <laughs> See which number. There you go. All right. So... I actually just screw it in right there. 
All right, let's see if this works. Let's see how I'm gonna do this. Probably gonna. All right, guys, I think I know how I'm gonna do this. All right, so you put the screw right there. Bam, right there. All right, this could be really tricky. So far, it's working. <laughs> a little bit. Right. Yeah, that's good there. All right, there we go. Now I can just plop it in there. All right, there you go. All right, there we go. Perfect. So, can't, well, I think I might put a screw in the bottom. I might, I don't know. I don't think it's necessary, though. This wood is very crooked, so let's see how it turns out. There you go, I think that's good right there. All right, now I just got these smaller screws just to kind of pin the wire to the wood just so that the just so that the melee de fluorooster doesn't hurt itself too much. Alright there's one. Alright. Alright good the camera's staying there. Don't know if it's uh fallen but gotta do this. I think just one or two more, which I have another one. We don't need it, but this might be it. This might do it. This might do it for us, boys. Nope. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, here it is. You never want to drop a screw in uh, the chicken coop because uh, chickens do attempt to eat this stuff. If they can fit it in their mouths, they'll try and eat it. Yeah, I might as well try and put the screw in the bottom. So what I'm gonna do, then we go on the inside, and because it's perfect length, as you can see, I'm gonna go, let me see if I can do it from this side, so maybe you guys can see. Maybe you guys can't even see the bottom, hold on. So I'm gonna go down there like that. Let me see if you guys can see it. Oh yeah, you guys can see it, all right. So yeah, I'm just gonna go down like that. So first, let me make a hole there. So look, I make a hole there, take the screw out, okay, well, that wasn't big enough, yeah. there you go, there's a big one, okay, then we just go down, like that, and it might not work. We'll see, we'll see, hold on. Go in there. Uh, I mean, I think it might have kind of worked. All right. I think it kind of worked. Let me see. Eh, not really, but, well, actually, yeah. It's actually pretty tight. Oh, shoot, did I just break it? Well, it's all right. If I broke it or not, it's good. So now, now, like I said, the chicken can't stick its head through uh, through there. So that's good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get a lock to put on it. Oh, I can make a wood lock to where I just have to like turn it. Um, I could do several different things. Just depends on what I have. So uh, let me uh, get you guys here and uh, take you to get the, uh, whew, take you to uh, get the uh, 
the lock. So, like I said, I could use just like a small little piece of wood, but I'm not sure if I have the better locks, which are like the ones that actually lock. Because that, that lock I'm talking about is just kind of like a um, DIY lock. Um, oh, so I might not have it. Nope. Um, so I don't think I have it. Nope. So, um, so it looks like I'm just going to have to use a piece of wood, which is fine. I'll just, oh, I'll just, uh, get a little piece of wood here. Show you guys how I do this. Super simple DIY lock that you guys can, you guys can use when you guys do something. But it's, it's a really good lock. It's secure. So that's all we need. All right. All you need is one screw and the piece of wood. All right. So now, here we go. Back into the coop with the chickens. And the, yeah, like I said, tomorrow it's going to be a pretty damp day. So it's going to be pretty, uh, pretty wet. But don't worry, this, you guys will be seeing this video tomorrow on Saturday. Just so, you know, if you guys are getting rained on, you have something to do. All right, so this is what I'm talking about. So I think I can hopefully put it there like that so that locks it and then put the screw right in that side so it can twist and turn so I can unlock it like that. And then when I just want to lock it just like that. So uh, I'll see how I do that. But uh, I'll get you guys back set up, uh, get you guys set up back there. And uh, I'll tell you guys what I uh, find out doing. All right, guys. So uh, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna do that, what I said earlier. And uh, screw is the perfect, perfect length. Not too long, not too short. So yeah, I don't know if you guys can see this down here, but hopefully you can. So I think I'm actually gonna do the uh, wood lock higher up uh, on the board because it's more even up here. If I did it down there, the screw wouldn't, you know, wouldn't work too well. So uh, let me just, there's already a hole here so I can just do that. So it's, it's pretty good. And a lot, every time you guys do this, you always want to drill a hole. But right now I'm just trying to use what I have. So, all right, let's put this here. That'll be a nice lock. Let's see, hopefully the wood doesn't split because I haven't drilled a hole into the other piece, but we'll see. Alright guys, so I think that's it. Pretty nice lock. Oh man, I think I made it too, uh, oh wait, no. I think I can just do it that way. Yeah, I made it too close to the wood. Let me take it out quickly. Alright, so I just have to put it in a different spot now. Let's see. So if I turn it Yeah, so, all right, there you go. Rather be safe than sorry, so you always want to put it as far back as we possibly can. So we're not sorry, but safe. All right, so we put it up. Perfect. A little lock just like that. Don't know if you guys can see it. Let me get you here. All right, so uh, all I did... As you can see, is uh, just put it a little here. Then all I have to do is just pull the lock down, and it's locked. So there you guys go. That was basically just me fixing up the rooster coops. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get the Millie the Fleur roosters and put them in here. As you guys saw, this guy's already in here, so I'm just gonna get him out of there and then get the other one out of there. All right. See you guys when uh, when we get the roosters. All right, guys. Here. He is pretty, uh, pretty scared, but it's all right. I have the Millie de Fleur rooster here, one of them at least, and uh, beautiful, beautiful guy. I'm going to put him in the bottom coop first, and then I'll put the other guy in the top one. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. Should go fairly good. Don't want him getting out. He's in. There you go. He went right in there. 
So perfect, perfect, perfect. Sorry guys, I am in front of the camera, but I did have to do this quickly. All right, there you go. All right. All right guys, so now I'm just gonna get this right in here. And of course, as you know, they're going crazy because they, uh, well, this guy he's, uh, he's pretty shy as well but it's all right he's good it's like a zoo in here they are so crazy all right there you go all right so uh yeah that was uh, putting them in there. Sorry, they were uh, pretty crazy. That's just how it goes sometimes, though. But uh, yeah, I mean, hey, they're happy in there. They're not complaining. And they're, uh, they're gonna do just fine. They have a perfect amount of space. That's why it's called a rooster coop. Perfect amount of space for one chicken. And uh, yeah, so there you guys go. They're in there, just chilling. Let me get the screwdriver. All right, and uh, yeah, so that was basically today's video, showing you guys a quick update uh, on what I'm doing here, because I uh, haven't been able to put a longer video out lately. So uh, yeah, um, let me think. Oh yeah, so uh, deer shed season is coming up, so I might be doing several videos on uh, deer shed hunting. So, uh, hopefully I can find some, and uh, yeah, so. That was just today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great rest of your day and see you guys on the next one.